Hello there, it's Ashley here with this week's episode of Stamp Create Repeat for your next stamp. Today I'm going to be making a little shaker card and I will put all the products in the description box below so you can find them over in the Your Next Stamp store. And I'm gonna be making this which has two little sections of shaker bits in it and I'm using the new window panel die and this super cute stamp set with these two little friends holding hands. I think it is just so precious. So I have also some gumdrops on here and then I'm gonna Copic color this little image to show you. So let's get started and I'll share with you all the products I use to make this card and then I'll get into the process video. So I use the Your Next Stamp Black Olive Ink and the wire snips to cut apart the coordinating dies. I use these Sunset Sparkle gumdrops. I just use the yellow ones in the three different sizes. I use these glitter pots that I purchased at Michael's. I love these so much and I've had them forever and they like never run out. I just use the yellow, purple, and that one with the stars in it. Then I'm gonna use the new Your Next Stamp Fairy Tale Magic Paper and it coordinates so cute with this stamp set because it has that little star paper with the little smiley face on it. I also use this stamp set, this is called Star Friends and I used the sentiment that says, may a happy star always light your path and I use the coordinating die to trim that out. Then for the shaker component and the backgrounds for the card, I use this window panel die, and I love this so much. I just trim out one piece of cardstock with this, and I was able to make a really cute shaker card, and it gave two separate little spots for the shaker components to shake about. So I'm just gonna show you up close, and you can see the little shaker bits so let's get started. So to begin with, I'm just going to take this stamped image and I'm going to use my Your Next Stamp Black Olive Ink and stamp this out on some cardstock. I'm using the 120 pound Recollections cardstock. And then with the coordinating die, I'm just running it through my die cutting machine. And then I'm taking this fairy tale Magic Paper and I'm going to trim it using this die here, which is the window panel die. And then I just position it so that the die is facing the same way as the pattern. And I wanted the smaller section to be at the top and the larger square to be at the bottom. And then I did get some other little pieces that trimmed out of there and I'll just use that for another project. Then I took this foam, it's sticky adhesive foam that I purchased at Walmart and I'm gonna cut out two of that same die so that I can get a nice thickness to it and that's what will allow the shaker bits to move about inside. So I'm trimming that out twice. So now I'm going to do the coloring for my little image here. I'm using Y38 for all the darkest part of the star. And the cute thing about the star is you could color this star up in all different colors. I think it'd be really cute in like some neon colors. I have some of the neon Copic markers and I think it'd be really cute with some like neon green or neon yellow. You could get really creative with the colors you use. I wanted to use the yellow because I wanted it to match the coordinating paper that I'm using. Then I just blended it out with Y35 and Y32. And because I'm using the Recollections paper that's the 120 pounds, I really have to give it a good coating with the Copic marker so that it will blend into the paper. So I'm just giving it a good blend there. And now I can start by doing the skin color for my little girl. So the first one I'm gonna use E13. And I'm just adding the shading there. Then I'm gonna blend it out with E11. And then I'm going to use E00 for the final blend. I'm gonna use some R20 just to give a little bit of blush to the cheeks. And then for the hair, I'm gonna use E53 for the lightest color. I'm gonna just do a whole little base coat there on the hair. And then I'm gonna go in with E55 and do a little bit of flicking motion. I'm going from the base and then from the opposite side, which would be the base, and just flicking with the Copic marker. And then for this little cutie, I wanted to use a little darker skin tone, so I'm using E18. And just adding all the darkest portions. And then I'm gonna go in with E15. And I just love how these little cuties are holding hands. They are so precious. And I went back in with the E18 because I forgot her little arm there. So I'm just blending her face there and then I'm gonna go in with E13 and give it a nice blend out. And then on her face as well. And then I go in with R20 to give a little blush on the cheeks. And then I also gave some blush on the cheeks of the little star there. 
For the hair, I'm using E53 and I'm just going in with a whole base coat just so that I'll have a bottom coat which can be almost like the highlight. And then using E55, I'm just going from the base and flicking out. And then I'm gonna go in with the next darkest color which is E57. And each time I add a little bit less of the flicking motion because you want to be able to see the flicking motion that you did the layer before so that you keep seeing the different layers of color. So I did a little bit less with this and then I'm going to go in with E59 and do a tiny, tiny bit with this color. And that way you see how you can see that cute little bit of highlight on her hair. So cute, I love them so much, they look adorable. And so now I'm gonna do their little outfits. So for this first little cutie, I'm gonna use V17 and 12. And then I'm using that same color combo on her little outfit. And I'm giving that a nice blend. And then I go in a little bit more with the V17, just to give it a little bit more dark tone. Then for the next little cutie, I'm gonna do her little dress in a coordinating purple and pink color. So I used V17 and 12, and then I also did that other little cutie shoes. And then I went out of the line a little bit with the purple, so I just covered it up with my white jelly pen, and then I added some cute little polka dots to that little purple dress. I added some dots on the cheeks of the girls, and then also on the star, and I used RV04 for that heart, and then that's the color that I also use for the little girl's dress, and then I blend that out with RV02. For the flower, I use Y35, and then I use RV02, and then I add a little bit of RV04 just to give it a nice little blend out. And that's my coloring. So I'm just taking my white jelly pen for the little cheeks there, and then I take my black jelly pen to add some glaze on the eyes. So I've got my cute little image here, and I'm just going to set that aside while I do the shaker card bit. So I'm taking an A2 sized card base, and I'm just taking this white card stock to place on top of it there. And then I'm going to take these little foam bits and I'm gonna take my front panel and add adhesive all the way around the outside with my ATG gun and across the middle. And I'm just putting it onto a piece of plastic that came from a piece of packaging. And then I'm just cutting around the outside and trimming off the excess. So now this removable adhesive foam, I'm just taking off the backing and I'm layering up the two to give it some nice dimension. And then I'm going to add on my sentiment before I set that down. So for my sentiment, I'm going to use this one that says, May a happy star always light your path. And then I just put that back so I knew where it was gonna go. And I'm just putting it back into the packaging there. And then I'm just going to remove the backing of that foam piece and I can layer it up there. Now is the best part. I get to add in my glittery pieces. And before I do that, I just add on my little piece here so I know whereabouts it's gonna go and then I just give it a good push down. It looks so cute. So I'm gonna take these little pots with glitter and I add in a little bit of the yellow stars there. And I do add a lot in the bottom since it's so big and I put just a tiny bit in the top because I don't wanna cover up the whole sentiment. I want you to be able to shake the shaker bit around and kind of reveal the sentiment so I don't want too much up there. But I want a ton in the bottom. I also added some yellow sequins and I was just testing to see if purple would look cute and it totally did. So I added in some purple. Then I just go around the outside with my adhesive and then I just place it on. So that is so easy to do and that was my shaker card that I made. I hope that you guys enjoyed this project. I will have everything linked below in the description box. And oh, I forgot I added on some gumdrops as well. So I just used these Sunset Sparkle gumdrops and I just put three on the bottom and three on the top just to put a little bit of dimension on the top bit there as well. And I always love adding the gumdrops. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed. I would love if you subscribe and leave a comment and I will see you guys in next week's video. Bye now.